Welcome back to the workshop. Time to mount the exhaust. So the plan, well basically just going to upgrade this uh, cable tie, MDF and G clamp arrangement with something a little bit more suitable and uh, rubber mount it to these little RHS standoffs. But I also want to uh, add a intermediate hanger um, to support the whole system sort of around the location of these two mini mufflers. Planning on running these universal rubber exhaust mounts um, and I've been going around and around in circles trying to decide whether to mount the block on the chassis or on the engine. Mounting it on the chassis be very simple but I'm worried about uh, concentrating too much movement and stress around the extractor or manifold area um, if I do that. I know I've added those flexi joints there but they're really just to take out a small amount of movement and sort of help cope with any thermal expansion. So I think I'm going to mount these rubber blocks on the engine to reduce the stresses around the, uh, the header area. Getting one of the hangers on this side is going to be an absolute nightmare. So I think I'm going to start with this side because there are these two threaded holes which are just hanging for a bracket. Oh, that was terrible. So we'll start with our bracket. It's uh, a bit big and ugly at the moment. So let's see if we can race car it a little bit. I'm fairly confused about how it was actually constructed because there's no way to get this tube or this rod out of the rubber block uh, and there's no way to get the rubber block out of this bracket. Uh, may, I think maybe they've pushed this rod into the rubber and then swaged this end on. Uh, I mean there's no way they could have welded the whole lot together with the rubber in there because it's zinc coated afterwards. Um, I'm a little bit confused but I'm sure the angle grinder will shed some light on the problem. So we've got the beginnings of the, uh, the hanger here. Um, this, is, this bit of channels, just some RHS I've cut out and then machine to size and I also drilled these holes on the on the mill using the DRO so you get them nice and accurate. Um, got a cut out for the shifter and a little end piece to cap it all off. I've managed to extract the rubber bush from its housing and it was indeed welded in place. Uh, the uh, burn marks on the rubber give it away and that will weld up in there and then we can drop our hanger down and weld it to the uh, mini muffler. So only one thing left to do. So while I was under here trying to come up with a way to mount the other side of the exhaust, I worked out a couple of things. One, it's really hard to drink beer lying on your back. And two, I think a better way of mounting both of the systems. On the side of the diff, it's a bit hard to see, but there are two massive M16 by 1.5 threaded holes. And I think a little RHS standoff coming off them up to the, this uh, mini muffler will be a much neater solution. So we just need to cut a bit of RHS up and make a couple of plugs to turn those massive M16 threaded holes into something a little bit more usable. So we need a couple of M16 to M8 reducing plugs. Uh, I've got an M16 bolt here. I'll lop the end off with the angle grinder and then we'll put it in the lathe and so I don't spend 45 minutes trying to file the threads back in once it spins in the chuck just made this rudimentary collet soft collet to 
grip onto the threads with that soft aluminium in the three jaw and hopefully uh, not damage them in the process. It's all getting pretty tight in here, difficult to film, but our two M16 uh, plugs are installed. So now I've got two M8 bolts holding on to our little bit of uh, RHS. That was 25 by 25, and I have slimmed it down to 25 by 12, just to get a bit more clearance to the, uh, the exhaust on, on that side. The next piece of the puzzle is this spidery looking unit. Uh, so the idea of that is to uh, create a bit of a thermal barrier between the rubber and the muffler uh, and also help spread the load around the muffler a little bit. So eventually that will get totally welded around. To find the correct spot, I've just got this M10 bolt that I've turned a little point onto and I'll spin that around and just mark the center line of the radius we want. We should be good to go. A bit hard to see, but that was the line we scribed with the end of the bolt. Just got the center line of our bar. A uh, bit of a center punch and centered it up on the mill. And now we will um, use that hole saw to give us a bit of a fish mouth for this little fitting I've turned up that has an M10 thread in it. Nice little fish mouth off the hole saw. Just clamp that down, tack it together and we can take it back to the car. So I think we've got a pretty good fit there. Um, there's plenty of clearance on this side. That's just the angle of the camera. Um, so I just need to tack our little spider onto the muffler and then we can pull it all out and weld it all together. And this was the real problem child. Really the only thing I could use to get a mount off the engine was my engine mount foot that I'd uh, previously fabricated. So we've got another one of our little spidery units and on this end a little machined boss with a 10 degree chamfer on it and that will go up against that little face of the engine mount like that and uh, can weld it all up. Seems deceptively simple but you have no idea how many safety beers it took to come up with that little arrangement. All tacked up, got it on the bench. Before I weld it though, I want to uh, take the rubber bush out so that it doesn't melt when I weld it. Um, when I took the rubber bush out before, I pressed it out in the press. No way it's going to fit now. So uh, you may have spotted a couple of little threaded holes that have popped up. That was for this little, yeah, nice one. That was for this little bracket, which will hopefully screw on for those threaded holes, eventually. And uh, I've given it, already given it a quick hit up with some WD-40 and this giant bolt should hopefully push that bush out the plan. I bought one. Now I know it doesn't look like I've accomplished much but that was sort of the point. Uh, the two mounts are in, uh, both nicely hidden and uh, supporting the exhaust really nicely. The exhaust is sitting there now in the right spot uh, without the mufflers, uh, which is a good sign because it means that um, the mufflers aren't going to be supporting the rest of the, the exhaust. They'll just be supporting their own weight. Halfway there. 
So on to the main mufflers. Uh, Want to have a rubber mount coming off these little standoffs uh, and allow you know, a relatively large amount of movement of the mufflers so it doesn't put too much strain on the system. Uh, now I guess I could weld the mount directly to the muffler but it's stainless steel and it's probably pretty thin so it's just asking for fatigue cracking if I do that. I think a clamp arrangement is going to work a bit better. Um, I'm thinking something along the lines of this. Obviously this is a little bit small so uh, let's just chuck it in the uh, 3D copier and um, print out some bigger ones. through some of the insanity because that escalated quite quickly. Uh, so you see I made up a jig to help me form these sections. Might have been able to do it without the jig, but the jig made it much more repeatable. And now that I've got it, uh, I'll never have to make another one of these clamps ever again. Machined the center of the pins out just for a little bit of weight reduction. I've added a additional thicker plate where we want the mount uh, to be welded to. I was worried that if I welded this 10 mil rod directly to the one mil clamp, uh, I was gonna produce or introduce a stress concentrator across the, uh, the thin clamp and eventually fatigue that. 
So that was the reason for the thicker plate. Um, I folded up the edges where I wanted the thicker plate and uh, used the stretching machine to give it the correct curve. And again, I did that so that I didn't introduce any big stress concentrators on the edges of the, of the clamp. Just exhausts vibrate a lot and I'm terrified of fatigue failure. So uh, that was where the insanity came from. But I think they've come up pretty good. Uh, so now it's just a matter of trying to bend some 10 mil rod uh, into a suitable shape so that we can mount the uh, rubber brackets, something like that. God damn, that took a long time to mount. And that is totally what she said. And I thought this end was going to be the easy one, but it turned out to be a massive pain in the ass. I spent hours with that 10 millimeter rod uh, trying to come up with a mounting solution that I was happy with, but every which way I tried, it just allowed way too much movement in the muffler with that sort of single pin arrangement. Uh, eventually I came up with this double shear with a bolt and I'm uh, really happy with it now. It provides just the right amount of movement, <clears throat> but won't bounce around unnecessarily. I started making up a mount for, um, to bolt onto the chassis, but then realized since I'd made uh, that puller arrangement, I could just weld the, uh, those saddles directly to the chassis. I didn't have to add an extra couple of bolts, so a bit of weight reduction, um, but it's all very neat and very happy with it. So we've got a few more things to do. Uh, still need to put the oxygen sensors in, and I think I'll replace this bolt with a hollow pin. But uh, that build really took it out of me. That was a real pain in the ass. Uh, there's only one thing left to do. Thanks for watching.